how you say, oh, well, we could do this, 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 and this. You didn't say any of that when we was just standing right there in front of the man. I didn't get in the car, put the camera in the car. So you did the open the car door I and did. went something in the car. I did oh, open yeah. the car door. Because you yes. could have held the camera and stayed right there and talked. What well, was raining? I didn't want to get wet. But we were standing out there in the rain. I'm confused. I'm very confused right now. I'm you're one of them ones. I'm, to say, you're saying this to say what? I don't know. Because you, you talked about putting this on, yeah. on camera. If I ask you questions, it's not going to be the questions that you would think that would be. They, they go all make you look like you didn't do what you were supposed to do. I'm cool with that. How? <laughs> okay, is me being cool with it a problem? Do you think Ron it's or... It's already right now. Do you think Ron or Pat... Look, uh, what's his name? But David. But David. Do you think that they want to have any negative on their thing? They're going to always look like they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. That's true. Yes or yes. Thank you for helping me with my PR. <laughs> Can we leave it at that? Okay. Right. okay. Hey, people. Hey, good people. How y'all? You say we live already. You, don't even, you just go right in. Ah, I just go right into it. Pet the check. God dang. Well, the thing is, I just wanted to make sure I don't want to miss none of your, Chick -fil -A. None of your rant. Is that a rant? Oh, 13 people in the house rant. already. I didn't Sorry. want to miss your rant. Um, Round up, I didn't want to miss Charles' rant. That's not a rant. That was... I'm just kicking actual factual. He was, he was letting me know how I how I messed up today, which I agree. Probably could have done better today. I don't know. <laughs> you're a funny guy. So I could probably do better today. No, I, I think you're right. I could have done better. What else can I do? Can I do? Some Round up. We got. We just came to look from looking at a house. Check out some more, and then you end up down the same. I'm gonna try some prune juice. This is so cool that you were able to get this deal from Deal Machine. And we're going to put that link in the video description as well. Land and properties. Yeah, this is the back end. But this, yeah. That's mighty black. So you were saying, I said, you shouldn't have said something. But I didn't really say you shouldn't have said it. I said, I, think, I felt like you were talking out, convincing him not. Which is cool, dude. I'm not saying what you did was wrong. Well, let me ask you this. Before we got there, did you or did you not say, I'm going to try to convince the guy not to sell the property? Yeah, things and my strategy changed as I pulled up to the house. But we didn't. That's how I wanted it, but we didn't talk about that. So that would go with the communication thing that you say that everybody should have more of. Right? But you did right. You oh, did okay. Right. Right. When you, your strategy was telling him courts are closed, making it so that he didn't have to sell it. Is that where you was at? Be yeah, because you was like, I'm going to convince him not to sell it. I like that. That was a pretty and, cool one. And then you you didn't come through with none of it. I didn't. At all. Right. Like, Round. you walked away. What's going on here? Am I am I on, I think I'm on the wrong page. No. Because like what that. Chris just preached in this car is totally opposite of what we're doing right now. You're right. I messed up. The, I should have communicated. Well, I didn't know how to communicate with you as we were in the house. So, you got to stick to the script that was in the car. The so that <laughs> That's the cool. only way. I mean, you know, unless you got to work okay. enough together to I know and you know what the other is. We're going right from the hip. All right, bam. Let's go head on with this. Yeah. Hey, fans. I mean, how do y'all really feel about, you know, Communication. Communication is key with everything. So let's just say I should have. Do you think you should have? I mean, I, I wanted to talk to you about my think my thoughts as we were walking through. Okay. But the dude was I like the guy actually. But he was outside for a while. when it came to my head to say that. How about this? I'm following you. Because it's irrelevant to me. But I was supposed to be following your lead. Because you said you was going to take point when we got there. I'm going to talk to this guy about not selling the house. This is a Which gorgeous. strategy's changed. Right. And I, I didn't know anything about it. I was we're going to be We said that three times already. Gotcha. Gotcha. Would you like, well, let me ask you, how can I move past this? Let me, you tell me. We just, I guess, let's just talk to the fans. What are we here for? Here we go. All right. I'm sorry. So Charles, no, no, no. We, just, we just came from looking at a property with Charles. I probably could have done some better negotiating strategies and communicating with Charles. 
I did. It's over. We move on to the next thing. Gotcha. So we saw the property when, as, as we were driving there. I thought I was going to like the house more. Let me show you why. Let me rewind. Matter of fact, round up. I sent out a video earlier this morning showing you the negotiation over the phone, and you were here trolling with that also. We talked to this seller. Nice guy. Mm -hmm. First of all, tell us how you found this guy, Charles. How did you actually get in touch with this seller? Um, well, I was actually doing a lot of, well, other forms of marketing at first. Uh, yellow letters to actually doing cold call. Um, then I also sent out a postcard off of Deal Machine. Deal Machine, I definitely would tell you to invest in it. It's only 50 bucks a month, um, but you get so many perks off of it. So I took a picture of the house, sent, started the mailers to go out, and the guy, I believe he got one, maybe two of the postcards, and he called me back off of it. And I think I just did that maybe like two weeks ago, I believe nice. it was. Nice. So that was a quick, quick turnaround. So that app roundup, that app is in the video description. You get a, you get a discount if you use my link, and you get a free, don't you get some free mailers too? Mm -hmm. Ten. I don't know if the coupon code is in there. Okay, so we got the letter. Do you mm -hmm. think it was anything that distinguished your postcard from other people? Y'all can talk. I mean, it ain't, I don't know, it's Saturday. Get your questions in roundup too as we go over this deal. Hit it. Uh, well, no, not super duper. I mean, it's just the fact that, you know, the taking the picture and actually getting that mail out there. Sexy. So it didn't super distinguish. He, he It caught him by surprise that the fact that the house itself was on the postcard. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's that's that was a good thing. I like that. So I can get the um, pictures. Three. Um, I'm going to round up. I'm going to show you some pictures of this house. I mean, it's just unbelievable house you got here. Unbelievable house, Charles. This is a good find you got, brother. Round up. We're going to be going over, and as we sit here in the pandemic, no one's going anywhere. No one's going anything. True. First of all, how is your, if you want to care to share, how is this affecting this pandemic and the coronavirus affecting your your business? Oh. Uh, on the work side and your self business side. Well, I mean, you know, um, everybody's feeling the pinch right now. Uh, me is a little less hours actually out there working. Um, so, you know, you got to spend less, put a little bit up for later on because you don't know what tomorrow, next week is going to actually even hold. Day to day. Yeah. With these cutbacks with everything, so many people are concerned with waiting for that stimulus check that you're not even thinking about. Save some of that money that you're going out to go through these drive throughs spending up all your little money quick. So Deal Machine app roundup. I put the link in the negotiation video below. You can see how we interfaced with this seller over the phone. So what do we come to realize? Give me a little bit about the numbers, Mark. Uh monthly payment. Uh 2034. And that includes your insurance and everything. Wow. The ARV for this area is between what 265 and 340. This is a five bedroom, three and a half bathroom. Hold on, the ARV. That's I need to know. Give me one number. 340. 340. Yeah. How many bedrooms? Five bedrooms, three and a half bath. Square feet. 2,599. Nice looking house. Roundup, I gotta show you this house. You guys are gonna love I mean, he told me the picture from the outside, he didn't necessarily like it, but the inside of this one was yeah. subject to and you'll see how we talked to the seller before we even got there. All I'm interested in doing is a subject too, and you have to go back to the I'll put that link in the video description to see the first video of this one. So here's the house here, y'all. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice house. This is a little weird here too. So the, the master Charles, I'm thinking it was like from here. This is that closet. Yeah. 
I'm going through closet. Yeah. And then over here was the was the master. Yeah, the master is that top half of it. Uh, that bottom part is just a little. I guess you could do like a play area mm -hmm. right there for the kids and everything. But crazy looking house. Why do we got more pins in this? Oh, this is the wrong one, y'all. I'm sorry. That's not what I looked at yesterday. But that's the one. Those are the three pictures. No, that's there that. Yeah. Good Lord. Yeah, and it still looks exactly like this. That's a plus. That that hood range is major right there by itself. How would you clean this? Though? I don't even know how to get this. How would you clean it? Stone. I never cleaned stone. Before. Princess, you you saw the pictures of the inside of the house? Yeah, it looks just like that. Like exactly the same dishwasher, everything. I mean, the way they got it set up there for that staging. I mean, you can go with it. But I mean, it does have a few little flaws in it. Maybe a cracked piece of tile. Um, there's some. I think some going water. over the floor though. Yeah, some water. Tile didn't crack. Tile doesn't crack for no reason. You wouldn't. I was wondering, was something, did something heavy hit it and break it? I don't know. Usually, if something, okay, that's a good question. When something like that happens, it so usually breaks like one tile. Gotcha. But remember, you were walking, it's like, <gasps> yeah, it was three or more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something going on under there. So, Roundup, if you can picture, this is where you're coming from the kitchen. Right. Walk through the master closet. Yes. Into that the That closet is huge. Bedroom. Too. Here's the big one. Mm -hmm. I noticed this here. We don't know if that's heat and central heating in there. Right. Also had a fireplace right there in the bedroom. Yeah. Whoever did this? Stand up shower, jacuzzi tub already. And this is that mama suite. This is the yes. garage. Yeah. That's almost like a man cave. Mm hmm. With the deep ass garage. And the gazebo. Yeah. What the day? want to live here. It really does make me want to live here. Good Lord. Yeah, good size to the yard, definitely. Um, I mean, it does have one or two little quirks that you have to take care of in it, but I just didn't personally see a lot. But I know, you know, your eye would catch a little bit more than I did. How many months is it behind? Eight. So that's eight times. 2,034. So is it uh, 16,272? These pins just do not last. I'll be back round up. Let me go in the back and get another pen. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Mexican vanilla. Mexican vanilla. What do you use in it? I put them in, in baking, like cookies, and I'll take the cookies to the next level. That's what you get here. Where you get to? Mm. We got that from Mexico. Yeah, that's the business. Y'all all the way to Mexico? Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. All the cruise. Oh. Let's bring this back. Pour this in. Mm. It's got a good smell to it. Man, that, 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 that stuff is amazing. That's you're going to keep that, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next time we go, we stock up on that and then wipe it. Oh, it's not the bad. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You should get a little more of one than the other. Can we do some get a little more. 16,000 in arrears round up. Correct. Oh, can't see. Sorry, y'all. I guess that's where the black one can come in. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, I just ordered a black book, y'all, so you won't have to struggle to see what we're doing anymore. Yeah, because I'm dark as a treasure trove. Dark as what? <laughs> well, that's because it's a chicken. They bred it. They bred it. which means round up. In order for you to get into this deal, mm-hmm. we got closing costs, which is another one. 3000 3000 And all of this, you make sure that you do it with an attorney. Don't just sit to the table and write up and or get notaries uh, to actually do this. You want to be able to cover yourself. I think you covered something like that yesterday. Yeah. 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 No sticky kitchen table agreements. None of that. Not with something. Let, yeah, let, because they, man, you, the worst thing you could do is go ahead and get everything together in there and then somebody come back there. It's like, oh, I changed my mind. This is my house. So just to get in this round, let's just round it up, up to 20,000. What'd you say? So that's about that's about the right number there. Yeah. And it might take you, the roof is going to need to be redone. You need a roof. That's so 7, that's sad. Um, here in my house is, is 5,500. Minor repairs, I would say, in the house. I don't know. I could be looking at it wrong, but I'm I'm thinking you could get it done for about seven thousand. Five. Okay, five. Right, so, we're gonna, uh, so it's fourteen. We're looking at right there. Five thousand. Twelve. Okay. Seven. Repairs. And. Is she crazy? It looks like She's crazy. So we got twelve thousand repairs. So just to get into this one, y'all, it's twenty thousand plus that thirty thousand. Right? So it's a nice house, very nice house. So we have to make a decision because me if it's something that i want for my family because i'm looking for a house we got the baby on the way right thank you all thank you thank you i forgot you know, all you guys mail this stuff thank you for mailing stuff for our little new bundle of joy yeah but of joy that will be here in about 30 days little chris little, yeah little, little chris l-i-l little chris so oh, what is he oh i forgot to ask you so what's his total balance he owes uh 299 he says he owes 299 but that's a little odd because it's sold for two ninety nine. Yeah. These are those questions that I, you know, I think we should have jumped in. Well, I would have jumped in, but I, all this will be on the mortgage statement when we get it. Gotcha. We, I mean, yeah, and he hasn't sent me that yet either. Which that's roundup. We got to get the mortgage statement on the subject two deals. Don't even waste your time. Because what they tell you, you have to verify it anyway. Right. Right. Definitely. That's to say, this is bone balance. They could tell you anything. Thank you for tuning in now. I never started watching. The reason I'm coming on is we don't want you to watch all that craziness that's coming on the news all day. Watch something that's going to raise you up, not push, push, push your mental down. You already know what's going on with the virus. Okay. But loan balance, you said it's worth 340. Right. So there's really no equity there. All you'll really be doing is paying for the location and the home pretty much itself. Um, so that the person, a person that has challenged credit, I mean, I'm not saying that everybody has it, but to get in for like 30 without having to do no bank qualifying credit. Yeah. None of that. This, this would be a nice deal. I mean, it's in a cul-de-sac, so that's always a good thing. Uh, the neighborhood is well-established. There's not too many for sales in this area. And the uh, pictures that you see, it looks exactly like this. This is a good one. You mean the backstory on, on our homeowner, Charles? Uh, he got a divorce. Uh, him and his wife uh, parted ways, not on bad terms, so he says. Um, it just didn't work out. She went to take care of her mother, and he went another route. Their careers is taking them two separate directions. That's crazy. Very rarely are you going to get one in this good a condition round up. Right. It's not going to happen every day. Not yeah. to say that it can't. It's just rare. Yeah. How many have you seen like that? You looked at a lot of Maybe houses. two. Yeah. Maybe two. Well, Peace Tree so was in good shape, but it wasn't like, wasn't like this. this. It was going crazy. 
round up. Put it in the. Put it in the. I want to hear your description. Give me your thoughts. What are you thinking about this deal? You think we can get? In order for us to do it, we gotta buy this one, or just find somebody else that's gonna give us a down payment to get it a deal. So this is how it works. Let's see what else we got? Oh man. Mm, I hope the family says, "What up, Frank? Yeah, everybody's safe, man. Everybody's safe." Right, we're supposed to be six feet apart. I think we're about about four feet. That guy crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're so crazy. Uh, where are we? We're in Hampton, Virginia. We're in Hampton, Virginia. Just a lot of home time. Yeah, right? What list did you use, Christina? Can you tell them again how you found that one, Charles? Uh, deal machine. Deal machine. Actually, I'm sorry. I was actually doing yellow letters at first. I don't know if a lot of y'all still practice that. Uh, but it's always good to that that those yellow letters actually help you get out to those neighborhoods and see what else is actually out there in the area. So it was doing yellow letters. I uh, actually put one in the door, didn't get any response from that. And that was like an immediate response that they could call immediately right away. Did deal machine on the exact same house. And the guy took him about two weeks and he called right back. Lock and key home buyers. What, what is, is deal machine? What is deal machine, Charles? Oh, well, it's an app. Um, helps you bypass MLS. So it gives the average person access to all the information to all of the sellers and who the buyers are that's actually in that neighborhood. You can do all of the footwork that you would actually use an agent. Hold up, you're talking about deal, deal machine? Yeah. You can pull up buyers too? Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, the new, the new updates that's in there, they, they can do that. Well, how did you use it for this deal? Uh, I just was out there doing the yellow letters and I took a picture of the house while I was actually there. Um, once you do that, Deal Machine actually sets it up and they start doing mailers. So you can either say, I don't want to do these mailers anymore with it or just let them keep going. Time and situations will change stuff up. Paige, how do I feel about moratoriums on rents? What? What is that? Uh, people not having to pay rent. I'm scared. Luckily, I have several Section 8 tenants that will pay no matter Whichever what. way. No yeah. matter the government will pay theirs, I guess. Would the government still pay rents? Here I am thinking I'm doing the right thing, right? I got free and clear real estate. <laughs> what type of fool am I? What type of fool am I? Once home and sort and oddity. I still generate that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, no job auto. We have homestead. We're supposed to remove them when taking over subject two. I would. Because taxes will increase the mortgage will go up. Yeah, you always want to get people out when you do that. When you do that. Chris Monroe, what up, Chris? Can you do a loan modification to reduce the reinstatement amount? Let me ask you, has anybody ever done one of these? I have personally never been able to do that, but I think that's a great idea to try that. Maybe we can approach him, see if we can get this monthly payment down. And maybe get the rears put on the end of the loan. I think the biggest thing right now is to actually see what's going to happen with the auction date. Yeah, that's right. What is that? The 24th, which is next week. Okay. So we're but with the, with, with, yeah, because I mean, the, the courts are. Again, closed. So, how would you even? What would be a strategy to even find out how that's going to work? Maybe talk to the foreclosing attorney. Maybe they would talk to you. I'm sure if you go to their website, do you remember? We don't even know what attorney it is. No. Maybe find them. Yeah, I can pull it up. That's a good one, Chris. Don't forget, round up. All my training is fifty percent off everything. Over over at my website, use the code Hope. Use the code HOPE to download all my stuff. Matter of fact, I probably need to get this is stuff too. I don't think this is a good deal. It's a lot of money up front. Charles, what's your opinion on that? Mm, I mean, for a buy and hold, yeah, maybe not. But for a, if, if you already have a buyer in place that's looking and has access to that type of money, then this could actually work. It is all. Yes. It just all depends on, you know, what your game plan is with it. Not every home is going to work, but I mean, it just depends on, like I said, if you have a have a buyer already. 
Okay. Yeah, I do. I got the law firm name. You do? Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll go to their website. Lock and key can the home rent for two thousand a month? Will there be a spread? That's a good question, man. I was thinking rent it for twenty three. It's not a big spread, but I mean it'll still put like three hundred dollars in your pocket. I mean, you know the problem over there. Did I show you on Zillow? There are is nothing over there renting for for two thousand. Really? Oh yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see that. So, Ronald, that is uh, lock and key home. That's a good question. Let's go to Zillow see what's renting over there. Man, that is an excellent question, lock and key. Zillow. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna pull this up so y'all can see the rental. So this this method you're doing right now, that's pulling up the address and everything of the place. I'm just going Zillow. No, I'm talking about like the pictures and stuff. That pulls the address and everything up onto your live. Yeah, you talking about the program? Uh huh. Yeah. So around it, let's look at some rentals in the area over there. This is something called the Churchland area. Yes. So let's see. Let's go. Dream yard. Here we go. Let me share my screen. Y'all can see what the rentals are. Let's do for sale. Let's do for rent. So this is what I saw, Charles. Nothing over here was renting for, for everything was thousand dollars. Fifteen hundred here's a four bedroom, two bathroom for fifteen fifteen hundred a month. Okay. Gotcha. A six bedroom, three bath renting for eighteen hundred a month. So it's too high. I'm, gotcha. I'm like, yeah, y'all, didn't that weird? Don't you think that's okay. kind of low? I thought it was kind of low, but look at this. Four bedrooms. It's just two people. Sixteen hundred. Three bedrooms. Fourteen hundred. Another three. What's your opinion on? You know this area a little better than me. What's your opinion on that, brother? I mean, if if it's not showing anything, I'm I'm guessing that maybe his credit was just bad. That's why he had that such a high. Maybe I don't think he's, I don't think it's that high, Charles. But don't forget taxes and insurance are going to be about four fifty. So wouldn't that mean if I'm looking at those numbers right, then that means these are rentals, this, though. Gotcha. Okay. These are rentals. Gotcha. Let's look for sales. Roundup. We're just looking at uh for sales stuff. So everything's. There's, oh, that's two hundred. Two bedroom, two bath. Good lord. Let's see. Two three nine. I don't see too much over there for three hundred. Everything's in twos. Two hundred. 300, 200, 200. 315. Where's that at? Right in the middle of the screen. Yeah. Right yeah, there. That that's a foreclosure. Like this? Yeah, that is three. This is a three, oh. 320, right there where the word Westmoreland is. Bottom left, right there. 320, right there. 300, right above it. Well, this is, uh, this is, we're getting closer to uh, Chesapeake. That's High Street. That's right in the middle of Portsmouth. Let's see. That's one street over. Portsmouth. Wow. You're right, brother. 320. That's a 307 full bath. And a little bit bigger. Oh, mm. yeah. A little bit bigger. Look at this one. New construction. 314. Wow. All right there on Cedar. And that's what we got off. That's right. So anyway, I think this was uh, the rents might be a little higher. Okay. I think I think your rent might be a little high. Gotcha. Um, is that what you think? Yeah, yeah. For for the rent, yeah, no yes. joke. Lock and keep. Go ahead. Unless you, mm, unless who's gonna hack this house, which that would be a. I don't know if that would be an option to actually rent the rooms. I think you're gonna have to push back from the community over there. Gotcha. Okay. Think about it. Everybody's coming home. Okay, I want to go home. Why do we got six people coming in and out? Why is there six cars, seven, eight cars in our neighborhood? I got you. Yeah. Well, I'm not I'm not saying not to do it. I'm just saying you gotta kind of be cognizant when we're looking at these things. <clears throat> Roundup is just, if you're just joining us, I'm hanging out with my boy Charles. 
going over the subject to deal. And we're just going to be talking about some of my philosophies and his philosophies regarding business life and the, the stuff that I've learned hanging out with some real masters of the game. Right. Real right. masters of the game. Somebody said they want to see that seven pound cake being made. Hi. There's like two videos. Round up. Don't forget, go to my website, get all my training for 50% off, all of it at chrishaskins.com. Get your drill machine app. You get $15 free or free mailers to get rock and roll in, in your mailers. So we'll bring, we'll let you, anything else you want to touch here, Tom, before we go to that um, passing on wealth and all that? No, I'm pretty good now. We talked about your business. Anything you're doing differently, Charles, now that we are in a pseudo recession? No, not at the moment. What about yourself? Are you doing anything a little different right now or yeah. just going to roll with the same way? No, I'm preparing. We're cutting back on the spending. We're not eating out as much. Okay. I'm, off, I'm doing a sale with all of my training. Off, cutting prices on that. I'm going to have to work out something with the people that pay me rent every month. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with that. So yes, I am not in panic mode, but I am ready to ready to strike when it comes to cash. We set aside cash. We're ready to buy Roundup. We are we are ready. As long as it makes sense, it's got to make sense. Got to change. So we got two houses under contract to buy. We got one under contract to sell. Hope prayerfully that it close next weekend. We'll be locked and loaded, ready to keep the real estate market is bananas. Miss McKellen told me she has so much work. She, she can't even handle it all right now. Mm. Real estate is booming. And it might, might, might jump up even more in the next month. Uh, it's, it's so much uncertainty right now with everything. Everything. So let's talk about passing. Would you say passing over the wealth? Is that a topic, Charles? Oh, you mean yeah, like put your... <laughs> With, yeah, with your kids and everything. Like, what do you leave them and what don't you? How do you work it out? Charles was talking to me. He's Charles is like a master when the camera cuts off. He's like, the, oh, we can do this. when the camera's on, I got to kind of pull it out of him a little bit. Right, I mean, because that's your thing. You're, you are the camera situation I'm type saying stuff. Bad. I'm just saying. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I got you. I'll get it eventually, sooner or later, but you know, I'm I'm still more on everything. Like he'll you know, just put everything up there. Still we can turn it turn that light down. Okay. Better. I'm, bring you I'm still bit. dark, boy. I'm still just <laughs> dark. You're just dark. You're just dark. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, brother. I gotta get this blackboard, man. Blackboard. Blackboard. Oh, okay. blackboard. I'm already here. We're not even gonna go back to that thing we talked about before, where I don't have enough. Yeah, that's the that's, that's done. Yeah. Talk about well, you were we were talking earlier. Charles was asking me about passing on my empire. Just bring me up to speed with your thoughts on with that, Charles. Because I'm gonna share with you what Ronald Grant shared with me. Well, I mean. I, I was just asking, like, you know, are you going to have it in a trust? Like, how exactly is it going to work? Are you leaving X amount to they can only pull it out? What What's you gone from this world? How exactly do your kids get to utilize the funds that you've saved up that you want to get? You want them to use it the way you want. But what if they don't want to use it that way? If they don't want to use it that way. Yeah. You're right. Around that, let me tell you my thoughts this is on this stuff. We're talking about just passing down wealth, right? This plagues me. Ooh, this keeps me up at night. Round up. If you want to know what keeps me up at night, hanging out with the Bed Davis and the Ronald Grands of the world, they all got the same problem. All of them. How do they pass on not only the prosperity, the adversity? How are they going to pass on the adversity roundup? We're going to get to that right now. Ramon LeGrand has a whole strategy that I'm going to share with you, what he showed me. Passing on with him, right? And I asked Patrick that too. He said, uh, it's an unknown in this life. Right. You know what? We get out here, right? We think we can get out here and do buildings, empires, make all this, whatever, buy all this, own all this. 
You can't take it with you. That's what you said that. <laughs> yeah. You can't take it with you, right? And neither, you also said something else. Neither can you make your children want to do the business like you. Right. I'm here to tell you, this is a big thing for me. A big thing I have to struggle with. The first thing is we need to make sure that we, since we can't pass, I'm gonna put this down, can't pass down adversities. Well, I said can't teach. Is that fair to say? Yes. The reason you are who you are is through adversity. Right. It's built into you. Everybody has it. Gotta have it. Well, not necessarily. Some people can not go through life and not have any of it. But I mean, we don't know. It's, a, it's unknown. We don't know what level of adversity you have. You've had. The Ron Lake Grant said, Chris, I can't teach adversity to my kids. I hope y'all get this. And I'm not saying I'm a master. This is what Ron said. What, he did, what, he, what he's going to do, right? He's going to make his grandchildren qualify for the money. This is a good one, man. I've been waiting to share this one with somebody. I ain't even shared it with nobody. Really. <laughs> he told me this on the side. What, what? Oh, oh, so he told you this off camera? Yes. Oh, you think maybe he meant for it to be off camera? No, no, no. Like when y'all was going to have that dinner. And he said, I wish you would turn that camera off so we could eat. I think he was trying to tell you then. Everything don't need to be on the camera. No, oh, was I wrong? He, he didn't tell me at that time. He told me in one of his trainings. Gotcha. Off camera. No, it was on. Was it off camera? It was at a training with a whole lot of people. I don't know how many oh. people in the room. Okay, gotcha. So, so um, but he didn't want. He did not want to talk about this on my interview. I did ask him. He didn't want to talk about this. On you said you need to ask him. I did. I asked him when I was doing the interview if we could talk about this. Uh -huh. And at that time, he said he didn't want to share his personal stuff at that time. But he has shared this in in classes that I went to. Oh, okay. So I wonder why he didn't want to share it then, but he shared it in classes. Uh, I think, well, I asked him, he said, I don't want to get into my personal business right now. I only had about 45 minutes with him. Gotcha. So okay. I don't know if well, we talked about a lot of things that I had learned in his classes. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. I didn't just, I didn't ask him why they want to talk about that on my interview. Gotcha. Okay. And they qualify for the money, right? How do they qualify? They have to earn a certain amount, earn X amount of dollars. Because you were saying earlier, what if you give them the money? What if they don't? All right. What if, you know, okay, qualify like you just said, qualify for this money, qualify earn X amount of dollars. Yes. 40 million right here. 40 million. Hold okay. Wait a minute. Qualify forty million to get the forty million. You have to qualify. I'm not even there yet. I'm sorry. We got qualify. I'm just using a, yeah an example. Let's put the number forty right here for before forty million. Go, before we go there, they don't get lump sum. They get a yearly allotment. But let's just say for the okay. million per year. So there are no big chunks going up. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, brother. Per year. Gotcha. All right, round up. So when I say I have to qualify for the money, this is a yearly thing. Gotcha. Go. What 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 would be the yearly example? What would be the yearly amount? So we said whatever they make. Okay. What he what he said was that once they make, let's just say they earn, let's just say they earn fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. Then they will receive fifty thousand. So once you prove that you can earn this. Mm -hmm. Of the year, round up, and I, I'm not, this is not me. This is Ronald Legrand. How, how he puts it together. Once you prove you can earn fifty thousand, you have to go to, go to the attorney or the trust manager and show them that you've earned that. And okay. they'll release after you take a drug test. What's wrong, Bubba? Stop pushing, Bubba. Listen, just stop pushing. Morgan, who's supposed to be using the broom? Me. Taylor, why should that go to the room? Just let her broom. Morgan, just sweep whatever you're supposed to sweep. Round up if you got any questions on this stuff. So, if you qualify for the money, you're going to get per year. No lump sums go out. Once you earn X amount of dollars, say for instance 50, then you get 50. Then you got to take a drug test. Go ahead, Charles. So, you earn 50 for this year and you wind up with. 50 100. that you that you get because technically the 50 that you earn you've used that over 
that you period of the year. You don't have to live on that. Right. So you don't even have that. You earned that that year, but that's not what you have right now. Yeah, you might okay. Not have any. So you get another 50 when you can show the attorney that you made 50. So you make 60, 70, whatever. That's what you would get. Okay. Gotcha. What do you think about After you take a drug test. Yeah, I don't, he didn't necessarily specify when the drug tests are administered, but you don't get any money until you. Take I got the you. Drug. So, pretty much, I mean, that, that would be the same way as what I was asking you. So, if you're saying that this is his philosophy, his kids, after he's gone from this world, they have to live off of his views, not their views. So you're still not an independent person. You still got to live off of what somebody else Papa. said. Well, let's say you did have 40 million. But if they don't do this, what happens to the money? They never want to do it this way. Who gets it? Well, Does the attorney the day, get it? At the end of the day, you have to earn something. But I'm saying if they don't do it this way, let's say they, they anything. let's say that let's say somebody comes up, let's say one of the kids come up and you say, okay, well, if you if you earn a hundred thousand this year, then you'll get a hundred thousand. Well, they're working, 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 but they can only get they can only get eighty. But this number here is up to the person. Okay, so they they make eighty, then they'll get eighty. Whatever number it is. Okay, gotcha. I'm not these number here. These number here. These numbers here are Fiction. variables. Yeah, gotcha. X. That's why I got an X here. That's it. I just put a fifty in there, man. So it's not they have to get in the same field to make that amount of money. Whatever okay. money you make, I'm gonna take this this number out. I got you. you work X to receive X. X plus. Let's do that. You work X to receive whatever you made plus Y. I don't know. Whatever so that's that's still pretty much a way to be able to control control your kids once you die. Well, he said he wouldn't even give it to his kids. He's only giving it to his grandkids. Well, that's still to be able to control them once you die. Well, I don't know if you control it. Well, I don't know. Well, um, they don't have to get anything. They can just go do it themselves. So what happens to the money? Then? If they don't get it, what happens to it? I didn't go that far with him, my brother. Yeah, I'm that thinker. I want to know what, what happened. I don't know. What do you think? Well, it's a lawyer that's got to release it, right? So if he dies, does he turn that over to another lawyer, or how does that work? If I don't want to do it the way you want me to do it while you're alive, you're about I can't get in. Yeah, if my grandchild don't want to do it. Well, if they don't want to do it the way that you it, built your fortune. It is what? What do you mean? It, if they don't want to follow your rule to yours, the then does everything just, I'm just that one. Does, well, hold on. They have to earn, right? Or they don't eat. But they don't want to do it your way. They don't want to have to go through, I got to make 100 so that I can well, get. Could be 10. I got to make 10,000 so they, that I can get 10,000. I got you. I got you. But I'm still saying if they don't want to follow, if they don't want to follow your blueprint, this blueprint, just well, the blueprint to get. The, 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 the earning, you know, if nobody wants to follow, grandkids, kids, whoever, if nobody wants to follow what your rules, we say follow. none of them, the whole thing. But they're the, following you by default here. You're following, you're earning money. I mean, you, by default, you have to follow it. But you said at the end, you have to take something to the lawyer you have to prove it right so i don't want to prove it i don't want to take you all right I, I wasn't understanding what you're saying yeah i don't want to take the lawyer nothing gotcha. i don't want to prove it now i made a hundred this year but i don't want to show you that i made a hundred no, what happens to the money yeah. over the no. years over and over and over nobody comes and say here this is what i made they don't want to do it i'm pretty sure it's going to be some grandkids and stuff they do, like, do but, but what happens if they don't where does the money go? Perhaps it would go to the next generation. Oh, long as it's in the clause. People, I mean, we're just thinking out loud. Right, definitely, so definitely, definitely. I would say for me, if they don't want to do it, then it sits there. Most of the next, I would, I would want them. I, this is a must. People's like, well, I don't want to create a bunch of drugs, drugged out kids. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Think about it. If you just got a hundred thousand a year. You just. But yeah, I would say the money would pass on 
to the next generation. I don't know, man. I, mean, I got you. Something to think about. Well, this is the problems with the wealthy. Definitely. Definitely. Round up. Let me. What do you think about this system that uh, I got from Ron McBrain here? What is the extra strategy? We went over that one already. Tony, I'm sorry. I missed you. Yeah, try to go to the bank. That's a good one. You're right, Tony. I think you need a $40,000 down payment to make that one work. That is true. You think I should move on it? This is, they said we just move on it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's no cash flow. Lock and key. Do, lock and key. Do you advise taking out equity through the moratorium of rent? Wow, everybody's on this one, huh? Roundup, I advise doing whatever you think is best for you. For us. So they are still talking get. about that house, right? Yeah. That specific house. For me, taking out equity, I don't like doing it. You know, Charles can speak on his own and other people can speak on that. I don't like taking out equity. I like to go earn before I tap into equity. So Charles can have his own opinion on that. Regina. Regina, how do you feel? How do I deal with foreign sellers? Owners and taxes. Ooh. That's good, but I don't never, never touch dealt with that one. Never dealt with one. Chris, got a deal. The bank cut the reinstatement in half for me. Okay. Chris, I have to call you about that to find out how you did that. Locking key, Rex. Oh, uh. yeah, going to suspend mortgage payments. Yeah, he did say that. Really? That's supposed to start at the beginning of the next month. Then loan modification might be the best. He may have gotten a bad rate. Yeah. And it's over. Yeah, that's what you were saying, but I still don't think fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars a month. Fifteen, sixteen thousand. Could you put it in for a short 100. sale? We could possibly. It's a hard shit. Like that. We'll talk about that. That's a good one, man. Very good one, Chris. Very good one. Didn't think about that at first. Well, the thing is, yeah, we were thinking about holding it. That's a good one, Chris. Still is not looking good if more rents are lower than mortgage. That is true. It's not a good deal. Rents too low. Tony, do you think Ron would would say you since if it's a lease option purchase, you can charge more a month? Ron always says that, but he doesn't, he doesn't know Portsmouth, Virginia market. Right. He, you know, most of those gurus before. and stuff. Yeah, they when they when they're yeah. talking, they're talking about where they live at. You know how stuff is going to work there, but you know. A lot of that stuff, he like when that, we saw it, yeah, go ahead. when think, we saw it on the, yeah, and that some of those numbers it would not, they not gonna match for here. Fifteen thousand for a hundred fifty thousand dollar house. Yeah, that's it not happening going. here. Though. Yeah, I think I was talking to a guy um, that was at the the the, the quick start, um, fast, track. fast track, fast track, yeah, and the numbers, some of the numbers that Ron was going over, some of those you couldn't get that down payment not here. Um, I don't I mean, really I don't want to say it couldn't, but it's very rare. Well, most of the time we're not dealing with those. He kept talking about the pretty houses. Yeah. Like this one, this is a pretty house on the inside. There's a few tweaks on the outside, but it's rare that these ones come up. Most of the yeah. time, get the ones that's got stuff in them piled up, so you got to okay. pull all of that out. It's it's a lot of work to them, so you couldn't get twenty thousand. You couldn't get fifteen. Yeah, you're pushing it, getting eight thousand shit yeah so <laughs> I think so 20 on here is fair man or you think yeah 30 yeah well the 30 i i would think about it i would i would wait for that though Thirty thousand ain't just floating around everywhere it might come right right it, it, let's just say it will come but it ain't gonna come in a week or two that's true <laughs> so what, ron, what ron didn't tell y'all is it takes time to find these buyers yes it so you still got to pay that mortgage while you're waiting for two thousand, four thousand, six thousand, eight thousand. Yeah, you yeah, might as well stay there then yourself if you're gonna pay it or like that. If you or you gotta get it in rent the, rooms. Uh, yeah. I'm talking about why if you're staying in there. Oh yeah, you rent, rent out that one. On yeah, the you rent those rooms on out. Are there any pictures of the mechanics roof? Uh, it does need a roof. Everything else is okay. Wichita, Kansas. What's up, y'all? What up, Roundup? If you're just joining us, thank you. Hanging out with Charles, just going over the subject to deal, talking about life, business, real estate, my views, his views. And don't forget, go over to my channel, 
I'm sorry, to my site. The link's below. You get all my training for 50% off and get the deal machine app below so you can find your deals. Robel, what up, bro? Could it be a deal for owner occupant? Yes, that's what we we're talking about. Down payment, yes. Still tight, even if we got 30,000. They they really have to have 40,000. If they give us 30, we got to pay 20 to make it right. Right. Then we'll make 10, then they still got to do the repairs. Can it be short off? Yes, that's what we're going to talk about off camera. Chris usually acts with far greater spreads. That is true. Daniel, hey, God bless you. Thank you so much for supporting our crazy, crazy vision. Bernard, how is the coronavirus affecting your business? Are you changing the approach or strategy? Hmm. A lot of people getting laid off. My tenants. A lot of people not having the money. Um, you know, I did see that they well. I was telling you, um, they were saying about Trump saying for people not to pay the rent. I believe he's going to pass something where, um, like one of your viewers was saying, that mortgages are going to be suspended. I believe so. That. It's not even going to have, they're not going to have no mortgage. Nobody, a lot of people really don't have the money the payment. to do this type of stuff uh, right now. So that's going to make us even more of a commodity, more of a hot commodity, correct? Yes. Because I got to, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you, I'm ready. Yes. Yes. But that's going to also make investors start working a little closer with their tenants because oh, yeah, a lot of these too. people don't, they're not going to have the money that, okay, you might get 8,000 here, 8,000 there, 5,000 oh, here for the deposits. You might not be able to get it like yeah. that. And then I feel, I honestly, with the investor side, I feel sad for the ones that have all of these properties. They had this discussion um, online a couple of days ago after one of the interviews, well, the conferences, um, the investors was real upset about the laws that are changing because a lot of, yeah, because a lot of the investors That's live off money. of foreclosures that no live off of the rent the that they're getting. Okay. So well, evictions is how we clean that up. Right. But the, 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 the courts are closed. So we you can't, can't evict nobody. Up. Yeah. Right. So you're going to lose money for those couple of, but these are same some of the same investors that had these properties for 15, 20 years. You don't have it, you'll have no money put to the yeah, side. You better have some. You you still making That's your true. payments. It's gonna benefit you because your your mortgage payments that you owe as the investor suspended. for that are suspended. But at the same time, you're not gonna make no money either. Yeah. So what what everybody do you what do you same. do? Yeah, I think everybody's in the same But the savvy world. investor, kind of like yourself, then put a dollar or two to the side. Oh, yeah, man. So Right now, yeah, this is that wave I personally man, it's getting ready to get so crazy skillet hot for investors that's trying to really come up. Yeah, it's a lot of things that's getting ready to happen right now. Even go past the go past the single family homes. <clears throat> it's gonna be, and I don't know if you even thought about thought about this, but I was gonna talk to you about it. It's gonna be properties that are like storefronts and stuff. What you mean? That are going to have to close up because they're not going to be able to make any money. You mean the work at home, the stay at home? Work no, at home? just like, let's say that was a store, mm -hmm. a convenience store or something. Those places is still property. They'll have to close up. They'll have to sell fast mm -hmm. because they won't even be able to take care of their own store. They don't, they're don't. they not even going to have the money to pull That's in true. supplies for the little mom and pop places. I'm, I'm not saying that it's good for scary that to stuff. happen but at the same time That's scary stuff that'll help the investor because you can go in and buy that yeah we're ready man we're ready and it's not by chance man i just been put you know i'm a you asked me before i'm just a cash guy i mean i just kind of hold on charles will tell you he knows me a little better than the norm than the average person i own nothing i mean if you come to my house i have no pleasantries would you say <laughs> i drive a hyundai i live in a 1800 square foot house but we're ready to act like my wife. We go to counseling, right? My wife is a spender. I'm the saver. Which one are you, Charles? I like it all. I like it all. You can be both, you think? Yeah. Okay. I I like that. I'm. I, our saver? views. Our views are a little different. But yeah, I that. think you're more of a spender than me because I don't see. I personally don't see the necessity of making 
two, three, four hundred thousand a year, and I don't have access to thirty or forty thousand that I want to do what I want to do with when I want to do with it. I I like that. So I, I, I say spending and saving, build up. But what's the point of building up? If you can't get out here and live, That's true. do some living. This world could end tomorrow and all the millions that you got. <laughs> Come on. Your kids, nobody will be able to get that. You didn't You didn't even do anything. Let's live. I do have an issue, Charles. I do have a problem. Round up, if you could just bear with me. It's not a problem, per se. I mean, that's just the way it's an issue. you built. That's just the way those mechanics work. You... You've seen a lot of stuff. I mean, you've you know they they know you was in the music industry, so seen you've seen go. a lot of stuff come and go. You've seen a lot of people that was up here, and then they ah crash heavy. Yes. But you have yes. learned from their mistakes. So why not incorporate all of it? I mean, there's a lot of things you can do. It couldn't be me. It couldn't be me. Yeah, make that money and Charles, do some stuff. I knew you were going to say at least you're admitting that I'm overspending. You say you are, are you overspending? Admitting, are you admitting that? Yeah, I like to spend a little bit. You Let know? me ask you. I'm asking. No, you, you don't spend you nothing. You I'm asking for you. Are you admitting? Are you if we if, it, if the scales were like this? Where are you at? With well, I'm not a Libra, saving? so I'll never be scales. I'm a Capricorn. Okay. Call them in my Capricorns. I know you out there. We we'll we'll hold that money, but we'll get out there and do some stuff with it too. Uh, I'm not saying frivolous, but okay, if you say it like that, let me get right there. Yeah, sometimes it's like that, but a lot of times, you know, it's there. It goes back and forth. Me, I'll make sure that the household is good. You always first. do. You, you, you are a master at that. I will make sure that the household is good. I'll buy me a few things, but one of my weaknesses is restaurants. You if I go, I like to eat. I like to eat. So, I don't look at the price on the. I don't look at the price on the I don't paper. Either, no. You want to eat a meal? You want a meal? <laughs> yes, you do. Chris. It's, I look at the yeah. price on a meal. <laughs> we, yeah. today, prime example: We went to Chick Fil A. I told Charles, "Give whatever you want." You can't get but so much at Chick Fil A. That's different from going to like what you said at Ruth Chris or Aberdeen Barn or but just one of those like places. Whatever you want. Yeah. Well. Okay. All right. I'm. A, you know me. I'm gonna push that to the theory. Did I do? Did I do okay? Wait today? till this lift comes off of these restaurants, <laughs> and we go to one of the places that I know that I like, where I know that the steaks are 175 dollars. All right, Round up. but that's good Kobe beef. 175 dollars here. One meal for one person might be 250. We're gonna remember this moment. We're gonna remember. I'm gonna show you where we at. I'm gonna show you. My roundup homies, head on over to my site, get all my training 50% off, and get your deal machine app below. Charles found this deal on the deal machine. So we're talking about you got you going? No, I'm okay. uh, spending and saving. Spending and saving. Yes, I have an issue mentally for me. I'm a saver. All right. Or what the book calls it. I'm a prodigious accumul prodigious accumulator of wealth. I'm a prodigious accumulator of wealth. It's always on my mind. I wake up in the morning. I was telling Charles, there's not a second or a day that goes by that I don't make money. That's for some people. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Um, I don't see you won't be able to pull that up. I can. But, okay, I can pull it up online. This is well, you can pull that deal machine screen up. No, nah, that's right. It's on the phone only. Yeah, and see, like, yeah, you can put that up there. Like, okay, if you're looking at that, you see those little dots. Each one of those dots is a house. Right around, like touch one of those dots, Chris. Any one of them. Oh, See wow. the the person's info and everything just popped up. This is on my phone, as you see. Um, is that a there's an absentee owner right there? That's in this neighborhood. Um, it it gives all the information. So that's cool. The average person that's trying to really get into this, you can use this deal machine to go out. And market to all of these absentee owners, and you have a big return. You, you, it's going to take time. I'm not it saying that it's going to be fast, but, no but the, yeah, the more you do it, the better off you'll actually be in this this world that we in. I mean, especially if you're trying to get in this real estate, that deal machine will save you. It takes time. Yeah, that was my only thing for it. 
just to show people like, and those are, man, there's so much updates and stuff in there. I mean, it gives you the phone numbers to the people. It gives you everything, their addresses, all their forwarding addresses, everything. Nice. But you can teach them how to. Talk okay. about adversity. Gabe said, Gabe, you could teach them and the movie The Gift. I don't remember that movie. Me neither. I don't believe in giving them any money. Rothschild philosophy, earning by ethics and borrowing family wealth. That could be. If your family has wealth. Yeah. Chris said they don't comply passing on to the next generation. That's what we were saying. I think that's a good one too. What about the actual properties? Lock and key home buyers. I don't have round up. I don't have it down yet. Here's the thing. We take our whole lives trying to figure out how to create an empire. Mm -hmm. And then once you get it, you're like, what am do I, I doing? Do with it? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a burden. It's a burden. I don't know. I can keep, do they inherit money or properties? Uh, just money. So what happens to the properties? I, I, Charles, I don't know. He didn't say that. He just said money. Maybe they're going to liquidate it all when he moves on to the afterlife. Gave you all property money controlled by the entity. Yeah. Uh, Chris, remember, I have an answer for it. No decedents want to comply. It goes to the charity of your choice. That is true. Just put it to church or single mothers. Mm -hmm. I know I'm, my thing is single moms. That's where I'm, I'm that's, that's, I got my money on them. If, if you, you don't, don't follow, follow the rules, you don't get any money. Ron, Brian Johnson. I don't think Charles didn't like that one. No, I mean, hey, every everything is not for everybody. I mean, it's this new generation. They might not comply to the way that you want to run their life. You're still trying to run it after you're dead. You're not here. Yeah. How can you dictate? to I, I built it. Right. For you. You built it for you. If you built it for the person, well, for the you child. Well, the money, then you're going to build it your dad going to sell. But are you building the wealth for you or are you building it for your generations after? Both. You so you use money. your money and your properties to do what you want to do. And I want to. But give this, how can you tell them? I know it's going to be a whole lot of different views. I already know that. I want to know your But you view. can't. I'm, I'm saying your, your people's oh my, uh Roundup fan. You, man, it's, it's just so, I mean, they could figure out a way to get past those safeguards sure. that you got in there. I'm pretty sure technology is going to be way different in 10 years. It is. But anyway, we try to figure out our best way. For yourself. I'm talking about now. to pass it on. I mean, Ron tries to put in stops in place to stop that. Gotcha. I think what he's doing here, my friend, is just building in some adversity. I don't know. So you like this? I do. Okay. I want you to go hustle. What do? Because you had to. Most most <laughs> of messing with me. Hey, no, I that's not a. No, that's I not a, because Ron's first thing he told me was you can't teach adversity. Right. So but give, no, yes or no? Every um, time I give my kids something that I think is important, they screw it up. Point to you or them? I'm sorry. That's valuable. Like if I give them a watch I had or what my diamond ring. Because that was important to you. They don't, that's what I'm saying. It don't, not to me. That's important to the market. The market has a value on certain things. Gold, silver, money, whatever. Right, right. If I give them $100, my little daughter's like, <laughs> she doesn't understand the value. Yeah. No adversity. I got it. I so, got you. I got you, old dad. I got you. Man, I got the train thought what I was going to say. You were saying so something about all the kids not having adversity. For mm -hmm. me, I want, you said I want them to work. No. The system requires them to work. That's what Okay. Yes or no? Um, and some of your viewers might know this one. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure they do. But every parent says, at least I think they say, I'm doing all of this so my child doesn't have to do what I did. It doesn't work like that. So that's a lie that work. the parents be saying. Certain things. Like, okay, certain things. Certain I'm doing things this do. stuff so that you won't have to do certain, certain things. things. Certain oh, things. Yeah, I never heard them say that. I always heard him say, I'm doing this so that you won't have to do it. If you're really doing that so that they won't have to do it. First off, how do you care? I mean, you're not here no more. If they burn through it in five days, what is that going to affect you? It's going to make their life harder. What's the first part? What? What's this? That teaching, you can't teach adversity. If you burn through it in five days, do you learn it? You learn the adversity then, don't you? That's not necessarily true. Oh, you, well, it happens. I'm, I'm saying it's not necessarily true, my friend. We're just debating, Charles. Yeah, that's all we're doing. What's wrong? 
I'm not saying that. It, okay, so for instance, somebody could touch a hot stove and then never touch it again. They better not. Somebody could touch it and be like, mm, we don't it. know. Somebody we could burn know. through a hundred thousand, and they not might do it. it again. They might do it again. For me, two, three, it took four me times. One time. It right. took me one time to burn through two hundred thousand, y'all. After that, what you, what you do to burn through two hundred thousand? Traveling, drinking, drugging, sexing, man. Wow. Um, drugging, so. drinking, partying, great goose every week. A hundred. I mean, a hundred dollars a week of a great goose for a year. I mean, that's stupid. <laughs> Miami, four hundred dollars a night at the W clubs. You could do. I was spending three thousand a week on um, whatever, man. It's in my book. Now, to the average young person, that sounds like a good life. That sounds like a good life. Oh, Drinking, partying, sex, loving all around. Miami, <laughs> London, Paris. Uh, no, Paris you went uh, the UK. Africa. I'm just using an example. Africa. Africa. You know, they they always say, you know, if you get an opportunity, you want to go to Africa. To really learn, I did. but you know what? Do you know how hard that is for a person that's making fifty thousand? Do you know how hard that is for a person that's making thirty or forty? But I'm gonna give them another thirty once they make that thirty, which will allow them to go. <laughs> but they can't really, because oh. if you give them the thirty after they make the thirty, then next year, hmm, you know, when you make that thirty, if you, if, yeah, if you earn thirty, you really only made ten, because well, no, I say fifteen, Whatever. half of it is cut. But they're still gonna get another infusion of cash. <laughs> okay, gotcha. gotcha. So if you make fifty, I'll give you fifty. You're saying they're gonna expect that fifty. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. That's. I all, figured eventually we'll get get to it. We get to it because all I know is okay. I got to make fifty this year. I'm gonna get another fifty. <laughs> Maybe that's not what nobody else was catching, but I figured eventually when we keep talking about it. It's right there on this board. All I got to do is make 50 this year. I'm going to get another 50. Hmm, next year, let me just make another 50. I can do this five times. How much do I have? 250, quarter mil. Quarter million dollars. Oh, now I'm done. I'm done with the rest of the job. It's a quarter million dollars a lot of money? No, it's not. But the new age, like you say, the entrepreneurs are up here. The new age... I'm just, they're going to know what to do with that money if they're smart with it. They can do it for five years and they're good. What if they don't? Then they got another chance to try it again, don't they? They got time. So all I can but do they always going to get that 50 unless they get a, <laughs> unless they get a raise. No matter what. That's, that was my whole point. No matter what, how many times I mess it up this year. As long as my pay, my W-2 at the end of the year says I earned Fifty thousand dollars. If I earned a hundred thousand dollars, I'm gonna take it to this lawyer and I'm gonna get a hundred thousand. Round that we're going over. I can burn it up this year. I can burn it up because at the end of the year, I'm good. I got you on that. Round up we're going over what I learned from Ronald Grand passing on wealth. I can't teach adversity, so he's gonna make his grandkids once they prove that they worked X amount of made to earn X amount of money for the year, he'll give them X amount of money. Miss President, do you think that oh, that Lord. that that? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need some unity with you. Uh, that's what I need. Do do you Get do up. you feel that okay? This this one right here, the teach adversity, Ron's uh version of it. You got to qualify for the money, so that's X amount per year. Mm. One of the kids make fifty for the year. The end of the year. The lawyer is told to give 50 because they made 50. So I'm give you 50. The end of the next year, whatever they made, so forth and so on. They got to take a drug test to be able to get it. If they do this a couple of years, won't they have the same amount of money that you was going to give them in the first place? Like, did, was it really worth you breaking it up like that as opposed to giving them? But y'all not here no more. You passed away so, already. So what if they don't want to do it? They don't do it. So where the money go? Not to them. But where does it go? <laughs> to the next generation. What if they don't? What if they don't have kids? Who is that next generation? Anybody say anything about that? What if they don't have no kids? The church family goes to the church. Oh Jesus! Let's do this, Charles. How Jesus. do you set a pass on? Well, 
I'm gonna have I'm gonna have little mama right beside me, learning everything that I learned. I'm so gonna give her the I'm gonna give her the option. You can't teach that person. Well, you're, 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 you don't believe this. No, I, it's it's different forms of it. You know, like example, I would I'm gonna have little mama doing the real estate right with me, so she gonna see every aspect of it. Forget she gonna see it when forget somebody don't is. forget whatever it is. It could be real estate. It could be. Whatever. Driving, the cooking, whatever. So you're telling me you can? You, what she want? I think you can teach go back and forth. What if they don't want? What they going to go, where them wrecking McDonald's for the rest of their lives? Well, as long as they make X amount of dollars, they can get that at the end of the year, right? You said you're going to be teaching them, showing them stuff. What if they don't want to do that? Well, then I'm not do saying nothing. you're wrong. I'm just saying. But what if they don't want to do nothing? Is that what so you're why saying? Why would you teach them? They have the choice to decide to do nothing. At the end of the day, yeah, they, they can do kids, nothing. But they act when they get grown, they decide and take and choose. I want to do nothing. <laughs> at, the, at the end of the year, I already know from this. No, no, no. If I make 30 for this year, at the end of the year, I'm going to get 30. 30. That's right? Yeah. So when so I go into doing? the next year, out of that 30, what everybody knows normally. Your, what are you thinking? We not talk, was we talking about me? Yeah. I oh well, I told you I'm gonna show her but they how to do it. it. If they don't want to learn it, if she don't want to learn it, then she gotta do something else. But am I gonna so stop? Be your way, am I gonna stop taking care of her? No. We're not talking. We're talking am about I gonna, passing it down. I'm not talking about taking care. Of but that's I'm here. You saying what am I gonna do while I'm here? I'm talking no, about I'm after you're dead. You're, you're, while you're here, you were a teacher. We don't know whether she wants to learn or not. Right. So you gotta give her that option. So you gotta give her that. Option. We can't predict that. If she don't want to do it, then she gonna still do her own thing. So this whole thing was about. It down? I mean, well, I I wouldn't know exactly which way we don't know you're gonna do that. We, don't we going know. off of what somebody else said. Dude, Ronald, somebody says here, Ron already has a family. He's figured it out. So gotcha. for you, neither one of us, we don't know. Right. Right. Round up I'm just saying at the end yet. of the year, if they know that they're gonna get X amount of dollars every that. single year, we got that point. Here's the thing. All they got to do the it is do it I know for about point. five years. I want to know what's the solution. I don't think there is one. That's deep. I, I don't think there is one. That's deep. Jonathan, how do you handle all of your renters who cannot pay rent, Jonathan? Everybody wants to ask me that. Because they know you're a big time investor. And my wife got... wants to know too, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can see her over here like, yeah, what are you going to do? What you going to do? Luckily, Roundup, your boy has some Section 8 tents, and we have, I promise you, we got plenty of- This guy fine. Don't you worry about that. This guy fine. Don't you worry nothing about that. We got plenty of savings. Plenty of money. We saved. Plenty of money. I'm speaking into existence. Yeah. Be honest. Yeah. We have have saved. One of the things your boy, I'm a master at, at low expenses. And as Charles was saying before, I'm I'm just a saver, man. I mean, I just it's built in me. Three ways to become wealthy: marry somebody. You you said the whole household is savers. That's what you said, no, right? No, no. So let me I stir this pot. What'd you say? I said I'm a saver. Oh, but you gotta have. I didn't right? marry a saver. Oh, what do you she mean? She knows that. She knows that. Oh, so she's spending all your money. Yes. Yes. Wow. You sleep good. We're saying all these violation words. Hmm. Baby. Say, we have a rent program called Save the Dream that he said you spend rent. his money. I like that. We have a grant. We got a grant definitely program. location, yeah. location. Yes. Ethan, so if everyone is scared right now, who would buy lease option with huge down payment? Nobody. Nobody's buying a lease option with huge down payment. I'll go with that. I mean, what who who would do that? Who would go out there and spend 10 grand if you're a 1099 worker or even a W-2 worker? You don't know what next month you're gonna make. That's true. Unless you've already like, if you're like buying a house, it's completely different. Interest rate super low. Matter of fact, we're looking at zero. Zero buying a, buying to point seven five right now. Somebody says convenience stores are doing great. Then I, I Ethan, just said that. Quite hard to do a subject to the lease option during this virus period. Yes, Ethan, but you will be able to do it. But it is a little rough. Yeah, you got to get on it now, so that you'll be ready when the market turns. Oh man, loyalty, loyalty. What up, Jason? He's I met this guy in Dallas last year. We gotta get him reprogrammed. Lock and key. Hey, Chris, I love my Hyundai. <laughs> oh, I promise. My wife does not drive a Hyundai. Let me tell you, I don't. We like. What was 
was that look you just did? <laughs> My wife did not drive a Honda, y'all. I just want to let you know. You don't. I don't. I don't want y'all to think that. Uh, that is the. That you guys, a Bentley the truck. Speech. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Straight like that. <laughs> don't don't let them fool you. America. <laughs> they make four point five million every you three months. Taught to believe you need trinkets. I don't need trinkets. Some people have. What's that? Man? Trinkets. Robel, these are the times when you appreciate not having a lot of debt. That's absolutely right. We're going to be fine. Libras. Robel, Libras mortgage are defaults are already going up in your area. Golly. As, as they say here? I don't know where he is. She said Capricorns. That explains it. <laughs> that one right, right before you. Million. Capricorn. Oh, is that you? Yeah. You crazy. Get that money. Yeah, you're right. I don't hmm, no. We got the whole we hold them dollars, but we will spend. We will spend. I don't know what car are you driving, y'all. Chris, we need you on real estate disruptors. Yeah, what is Jason, that? Jason Francisco, is that one of your channels? Please email me at Chris Buys Houses at Gmail. I'd be more than happy to come on there. Get the word out. I've got a healthcare professional coming on Monday as well. Talk about this corona thing. Francisco, email me, my friend. At I'm trying to get some at Gmail. I want to come off of this. What? Cigna. So Cigna is this. dropping a lot of the providers. Deal machine on April first. You can't do what deal machine. You can't put deal machine on your computer. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm. Max Maxwell, he does that. He owns the gold, makes all the rules. That is true. Round up. I don't know what you're talking. What are you guys thinking? Well, she was talking about Charles in the car. You see, you have so much content. Right. So the camera comes so in. I guess the camera got to be. I feel like the camera got to be rolling, and you not say that it's getting ready to roll when it get ready to roll. So I got to do how you want to do it. Yeah, I, I guess so. I, if I want that, ain't content. no that ain't no money though, is it? Ain't that? Ain't that so? Ain't that so? You should have seen y'all when, when I put the camera on with with that David. It's like. This man, I mean, he's like a, they, they call him the general. But he Warrior. answers what you ask him, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And I keep, I feel like I keep saying that over and over. I answer what you ask me. You're right. But you keep saying, Charles, what are your views on this? No, I don't. What did you ask me? Ask me a question. Can I say that I'm sorry? Get to me. You can say it. Go ahead. All right. Let the word hurt. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry to who? For not asking you the question, I want your forgiveness so you can stop beating me. I feel like you. I feel like you beat me. First, up. I beat you up with the grass. Now you saying I'm beating you up with this. Man, I can't win with you. What sign are you? Charles comes over and what destroys me on my grass. Right. I just want the world. What now sign are my you? grass, uh, Sagittarius. Oh. Now my grass is looking impeccable. Yeah, y'all. As Charles mentioned it, y'all. Oh, hold a dollar mentioned. till it's bleeding. Jesus. You can dictate how the money will be allocated. Lock and key. I personally won't put a call against marijuana. I mean, oh, I don't think he was talking about marijuana. All right, can't bro. Teach that adversity. Can. That's right. You can't teach adversity. Salute to Chris. God bless you, Jason. Nice meeting you, my brother. All you can, can do is options. give them yeah, options by having it set up in the family bank. And see him grew 30 million. That's true. You can't just give it to him one at one time. You know what he's doing now, though, right? What's he doing? He do real estate, Stanley real estate. Mm. He's been doing that for a couple of years. So you think he really missed that 30? You just don't see the money that he has now. He's sweet with it. Somebody said, repeat what you mean, Charles. Bless. Big ups. Bless. Coronavirus mixtape. Wow. You're crazy, man. You got some funny fans. MOU Records. I already said give the charity. That's true. What happens if mama doesn't? Little mama don't like real estate, Charles. That's your little Well, mama. fortunate for Charlie, I have several options. Uh, I can cook a little bit. He said little mama. Sure. Right. I can teach her how to cook, too. What if she doesn't like that? Who don't know? Who I'm don't just, like to cook? I don't. I just want to eat. No, you just want people to serve you. I don't That's want all. that, too. Let's let's if we gonna call the square square call the square. <laughs> if we gonna do that. You just don't want to get in the kitchen and get down by yourself. You want to say. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, you got ten seconds. What happens if little mama don't like real estate or cooking? 
He didn't say that. He just said real estate. He didn't say so. You're gonna book. give her something else. Another option. Yeah. Basically, okay. He's gonna cool. give her another option. She could drive. Uh, we got cleaning services over yeah. that side. We that's a lot of entrepreneurship. Yeah. So we're much. hoping she wants to be an entrepreneur. Right. All right. Can't teach that either. Chris says a lot of people do want to do nothing. That's true. And you're gonna really see those people when we get through this. When we get through this this little crisis. Because you got to think, I mean, never in history has the NBA been shut down. That's crazy. You got New York City locked down. You got L.A. locked down. Hmm. They're getting ready to do martial law here. Let's it's getting ready to be a lot of lines drawn in the sand. Chris says, stop trying to get Princess hyped up. I do agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what it say. It it's say. It's a do try oh, do to try get, get Princess hyped up. Oh, you, yo, yo, vision <laughs> is total to pieces. What's going do on? Do try to you? get Prince. That do try, up, Chris. Why y'all doing that? Round up, napalm. Good lord. Hey, I don't like that. Love your conversations about real deals. Please send me a link for the free negotiating number five. You couldn't get it in there earlier. Yeah, you have to go to the, the. I put the video in the link description of this one. And when you watch that video, it will be in the link description of that one. If not, email me and I'll send it to you. Save a person who has not drank the cool any like other sheeple. That's cool. Oh, no, he said, don't get it riled up now. Oh, well, you spelled up there, do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chris. Hey, Chris, this shows you that we're definitely looking at all your comments. Definitely, because show will keep. Taxing off everything that you, that you John said. Lewis. I got a lease option who's mad at the repairs after we closed five months ago mm -hmm. in front of attorney. After Rona, Rona. She, after Rona, she may have to go. Yeah, John. Unfortunately. See how us people call it Rona? <laughs> yeah. Yo, let me get one of them Ronas. Everybody know what that is. K Rona. Corona. Yeah. Okay. I like that about you, John. I like that about you. Keep it real. Keep it real. Uh, in this case, I'm going to have to go get my trumpet and start playing playing taps for your tenant because she is definitely history. Yeah, they not for a couple months. Oh yeah, right. I mean, they they won't pay you, so you can yeah. you want to be history. Yeah, free as a bird. I have a suggestion for the lack of rent for investors. Banks are giving away equity loans. That's true. Yes, they you are. A business card. That is true. I emailed you. Okay, cool. Cameron. All right, nice. Yes, but deal machine. There you go. Desktop every day. Locking down Illinois today at five. Yep. It's uh, coming. Craig, the video for the free subject two didn't work when you try to subscribe. Uh Craig, if it didn't work, then you're already a, one of my members. So uh, I've been I've been giving this away all day. So I know it's working, but just email me if you need the link. All right, this is it. Then no more conversations to talk about. You're talking about how was it with Bet David? You want to hear more about that? You want to hear about any stuff with Ron? Are we straight? Yo, we good. We all good. Right. Right Thank now. you, guys. All be safe out there in this epidemic. Um, you know, pandemic we do a lot. Now. Pandemic. Yeah, we do a lot of stuff in fun just to try to lighten up the mood. Um, be safe out there. Watch who you're touching. Watch who you're breathing. Watch who breathing on you. No sneezing. No snots. Don't do that. Okay. Round up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. We made that face for. I'll be Make coming back like on you. Monday. I've got a healthcare professional coming on the channel. What do I feel about Wu Tang? What do I feel about wholesaling deals are going to be more easier to come due to the Rona? Okay. <laughs> Why due to the Rona? Is Rona? What is Rona? Crazy. Man. Do you know what Rona is? No. No. What's Rona? You said you get along with everybody. You All around know. Uh, Those are the yeah, wholesale deals Rona? are going to be. Wholesale deals are going to be. Michael Charles. Real estate is going to be Who more plentiful. Oh, more plentiful. What's wrong with Hang around this one. I'll see y'all soon. Make sure you go to the video description. Get all my training for that price. Corona. All up for the next Corona. week or so. Yeah. I want to give. The first part now. We're all in this thing together. This coronavirus is affecting a lot of people. It's really changing the face of our economy and our society. You're I love you, Roundup. Talk to you soon. Peace. You're people talking about, well, you're not there yet. Not